I've been a big fan of Wolverine Media Storage for years. Here's my old 60GB drive that I've used at more events than I care to remember. So I was delighted when offered the opportunity to review their newest model. It's about the same size as the old one. It's a little bit larger than an iPhone and about twice as thick. Just like the old unit, there were only two buttons. The big one does two things. If you click it, the display shows how much battery is left and then it shuts back down. Hold it down for three seconds or more and the drive turns on. It stays on, waiting for a card for 90 seconds and then shuts back down. When you insert a card, the display shows how much space is used on it. In this case, I've stored two gigabytes of photos and videos. Once you press the smaller button, contents of the inserted card are copied to the internal drive. One of the nice things, besides the simplicity of operations, is there is never any doubt if a button is pressed. Both buttons make a clear click. Also, they need a de definite press so this thing won't be starting accidentally in your pocket. Once the copy starts, you get a display of percent complete. After the transfer is finished, the drive will remain on for 90 seconds before shutting down automatically. Now, let's take a tour around the edges of the drive. On one side, you have a slot for mini storage cards. Along the top is where you put your CF cards. There's a rubber door that covers the slot when it's not in use. On the other side is where you put your SD cards. Oh, and in case you're wondering, if you peel back the threatening sticker and open the door behind it, you can get to the replaceable lithium-ion battery. This brings us to the bottom. There's the outlet in the center where you can connect the external charger. A wall charger is supplied and it works anywhere in the world. On the left is where you plug in a USB cable to transfer files. The unit also charges while connected to a powered USB port. Toward the right, barely visible, is a small light. It flashes red when the unit is waiting for a card, shows a steady green when data is being copied from a card, and turns off when the unit does. This can be useful if you want to copy a card, place the drive in your pocket while the transfer is underway, and know when it's over without having to keep looking at the front panel. Just remember to put the unit in your pocket with the light facing up. 